Off the top of 5 o'clock, stunning new video of a driver running a red light and slamming into a police officer on patrol. That officer and two passengers in the other car had to be flown to the emergency room. And now that suspect is out of jail and Local 10's Roy Ramos live with this developing story at 5 o'clock. Roy. Galvin and Nicole and police say this horrific crash was all caused by a drunk driver. That officer traveling right through this intersection when he was hit by that vehicle that sped right through a red light. Jarring video capturing the moment a Miami Gardens police cruiser is hit by a black Dodge Charger seen speeding right through a red traffic light Tuesday. Miami Gardens Police Chief Delma Noel Pratt said it all happened while the officer was on patrol in the area of Northwest 27th Avenue and 167th Street just before 3 in the morning. Watch as the suspect's car hits the police cruiser so hard it spins the officer's SUV around several times before it comes to a crashing stop right off the Palmetto Expressway. My officer, who is a four-year veteran and a field training officer, managed to get on the audio radio and stated he was trapped inside of his vehicle. As first responders arrived, fortunately, they were able to free him as well as the other driver and two passengers who were in that vehicle, a vehicle that quickly caught fire. Police ultimately arresting the driver, 36-year-old James Lewis, for driving under the influence and allegedly finding drugs in the car that included crack cocaine and cannabis. Driving under the influence of alcohol or any intoxicating substance is not only unlawful, but possesses an immediate threat to the safety of the entire public. While that officer now works to recover from his injuries and the other two passengers continue to be treated for theirs, it's Miami Gardens Police Chief with this message for those even considering getting behind the wheel while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Will not tolerate reckless disregard for traffic laws in this city under any circumstance. And Lewis has since bonded out of jail, but he does face a number of charges that include driving under the influence to possession of cocaine and cannabis, and he is likely to face more charges. For now, here in Miami Gardens, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. That video is just awful. Roy, thank you.